hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to learn how to fetch the data from our database in react js using laravel api so guys now let's get started so first let's move to our react app and create one simple table design so let's get back to our react application and we should move on student.js file perfect and yep guys so let's design the table over here first so table where the table class name is equal to table table bordered table striped done and table head table row table heading id and then your student name student course student email id and the phone and simple guys finally one edit button and one for delete button done and then your table body t body and inside this you will be doing your table row data so guys now let's see the output first control s and check the output perfect so yes, we have got this and yes guys let's get started with the api call so first let's go in this class inside this class call your component did mount so let's call the component did mount function open and close curly brace and whenever you load the page i mean this page is whenever this page is loaded that time this function will be automatically called okay we are going to use axios in this and get the data so for that guys let's create one variable called response so using const response is equal to your axios so a x i o s axios import the class guys so let's import that over here you can see just import this axios dot get function and inside this get function you are going to get all the data api forward slash i mean give first forward slash api dot students okay so this will be our url and after this whenever you run this that time you should execute so before executing you need to check await also because it will give an error when you don't wait for that so let's use await so when you use await you need to use async also a s y n c so now guys let's first go and create the api and the code to fetch the data so let's move to our laravel application perfect so first let's move to our api.php inside routes let's create the route colon colon get function call the route name what you have created over here api is default just call the student so the students and your controller name so let's copy the same controller which we used in to store the data so let's tell this as index so let's copy this index go to your student controller and create the function with the name index so public function and the function name index so let's create a variable called students is equal to your model name student so colon colon all where we are going to return so let me just copy from here and paste so if it is success means everything is going to be 200 and take this data and send it over here and make this message as students okay so same variable we are going to access there done and now guys let's move back so this api will call perfectly and it will respond so let's move to our react app so now your data has come guys so once it is coming that time we are going to check with the if condition if this response dot data so before checking this response dot data i'll just show you some output in our console log so use log function to check our yes okay so this are yes we are sending over here now let's get back inspect move to console so 
okay we didn't give the path so let's copy the path first copy and give the correct path 8000 slash api slash your students data okay now everything will be working fine refresh so you can see that the data has come so whatever the response dot this data so this data dot student so this is the status we sent 200 and the students which we shared over here so inside that students we have two data so these data are coming from your database which we have stored in previous video so these two data fetched over here so guys now let us get this data into our table so let's get back to our here let's comment this for the reference and let's open this if else condition and over here you need to check that status triple equal to 200 if it is 200 means then you have to come here and this dot set state function open and close create a student variable so students colon whatever the response you're getting response dot data dot students so this students is coming from from your controller okay so this student you are calling that done and one loading thing we will see guys loading over here false and this when you're setting the state you need to assign that state over here first state is equal to open and close curly brace where this student variable you are going to send student of array done and then loading colon true first you have to initialize this then in this student where you have to copy this and call over here okay so whatever the data you are storing over here and this will store all your data and the loading is true over here and this is false done and now let's move below at this render function so i don't want to call directly over here let's create separate things so first if use if else let's create one simple variable let's create one variable called um, student underscore html table whatever just create that your null okay and this student variable only we have to check so before checking this you need to check with this dot state dot loading so this dot state dot loading if it is true means if condition will give you true so when it is true that time you have to call this variable and paste over here is equal to and just create that tr table tag because we are going to assign over here okay so let me just finish with that table row and table data and inside this table data i am going to call h2 tag until loading and this call pan okay is equal to we are going to give six because three three plus six one seven okay so mention that seven done remove this again you are going to copy this and is equal to now guys we have to loop the data so what data whatever data you are going to present over here so let's hit enter this dot state dot your students variable so that students copy this students and we are going to use map function okay so inside this mapping only we are going to create done so give over here item so whatever the items comes over here and open close curly brace and before that you have to pass this okay and inside this function you are going to return open and close function and design your table row so tr tag table row table data so table data first we are going to get the id so just call this from the students whatever the id is open and close curly brace item dot id so this thing only you are going to paste over here using key is equal to open close curly brace item id copy paste this will be your column name database column fields okay so next is course 
and this will be your email and this will be your phone number okay so these fields these names are nothing but your database column names okay so this name course email phone done let's get back and now a simple td tag to display the edit and delete button so to paste a tag we have to use link in react so link open and close link give this edit to is equal to open and close curly brace where so before giving url let's call the class and design the button class name where button button hyphen success button hyphen small done and over here above the tab button below the escape button that symbol you have to give okay so edit student forward slash use dollar and open curly brace and close curly brace and the id over here okay so that id is nothing but your dot item of id done so this dollar item of your column field primary key id and then finally one td tag with the delete button b u t t o n button where type is equal to we will give button only and copy the class copy paste and this button name will be delete danger save guys and now let's take this variable and paste inside this td t body tag okay all set so save it and now guys let's check it refresh perfect so once it's loading and after that it's showing so why it's loading guys because we are checking that right over here inside this if condition if that state is until and unless it loads it will show false when it is false it will show your data output okay so guys we have successfully fetched the data and let's add one more data over here as varun bca varun at gmail.com some random digit phone number add student okay data added let's go back and see where you can see that data has come so guys we have successfully seen how to view the data in react.js using laravel api so guys let's see next video about how to edit and update the data in react.js using laravel api so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share